Central time, Eastern time. Okay? What do you notice about the times going down on the left? They start really early. They start pretty early. Some at 12 a.m. All right? Now, with your group, I want you to write down some observations. Remember, our focus is on fog. We're trying to understand fog. Okay? Go ahead and tear the pages apart carefully if they're stapled. So you guys can take turns looking at different pages while you work together. Okay? So write down observations from these pages. 
Individually or as a group? Any mark say go. Exactly. Alright, so you should be writing down observations. I mean, you have to like these. So specifically, it's related to fog. <laughs> when you have that idea, December. That's cold, cold. That's not cold. For Jesus, Florida is cold. He has Jesus' papers. <laughs> 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 Can your attention? Three, two, one. All right, so. When you guys are going through this together as a group, you should be writing things down, focusing on information about the fog. Okay, what it's going to be real easy to start making predictions or guesses or inferences about why the fog is forming. I don't want you to do that yet. I want you to write down what you observed from this data that helps you understand fog better. Okay, make some observations. If your paper, if your data set that particular sheet doesn't have fog on it, then maybe put that to the side because you might be wasting your time without it. Okay? So look at the data sets, look at the pages that have fog on it, compare. Okay, what do you notice? I'll give you three minutes. That's kind of weird though. We said heat in the fall is bad. Oh, it's getting lowest. Technically, heat and evaporation. Like the lowest one on here, it was still fall was 62 to 42. I don't. Those will get colder than that. They don't snow. They don't snow. There's no point in winter. There's literally no point. That's not me making me mad. It's not like three times. Miss Green, though, Whatever. I remember all you should want to raise one of the really good bushes for corns. Corn bushes. Corn bushes cost something. If you're not sure where your fog location is, I can show you on the map. Who doesn't know where I'm going? When I'm riding my bike, I'm in a forest. I see outside. I'm feeling like the hill. Yeah. And I stop moving. I didn't know why. And so my back tire starts spinning. All of a sudden, I just go. Woo! <laughs> I didn't know before. <laughs> I just smacked. Except I didn't know. I didn't know I stopped. I didn't know I stopped. I just kept going. It's so like the British when you're going Because like you know how like when you're going downhill and then you keep pedaling, I was doing a burnout and then like as soon as I hit the concrete, I took off and fell. It was so funny because it was going so fast. Yeah. 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 Y
as soon as it's concrete, it just it makes a hit a wheelie and I just fell off. That's true. Who's got four? You said Jesus take the bicycle. Uh, right, you're missing a page that I've got. We can't, you said Jesus take the bicycle. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see this. Yeah, it's like all these dates are higher. That's why I that's why many of y'all has fall. None of them. This one is starting to get colder. Look. And the humidity is higher. And the higher humidity. Low temperature, high humidity. We're going to have in Florida. Oh, I know what song you're singing now. I've heard it so long. What? What? Uh, yes, when Drake is back. Alright, need your attention again. Some of you are listing non scientific descriptions with your observations. Remember, we often get qualitative, which can be scientific, but what makes it truly scientific? <coughs> Quantitative data. Don't tell me the humidity is high. Oh, How high? <laughs> okay? Don't tell me the temperature is high. How high? Don't tell me that the, the time is early. How early? Okay? Always put numbers on it when you can. You're not a scientist unless How you call the wind. The wind. You are the wind. I know an answer. What do you say for it? Four days. Okay, what are they talking about? The wind. Uh, well, you, you said tornadoes. The rain is holding. Oh. Uh, you know. <laughs> is it going to really slow in the air? That's just not good. You hear me? That's what we're going to say. 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 Say fog, list the temperature, list the time, list the humidity, list all that stuff. That would be a great way to keep track of when there's fog. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Was it at night? Was it at day? Was it at night? Uh, 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 we're going to get to that. Whoa, someone took my paper. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that paper. This one, the paper had all the falls on it. Yes, it was. It was. It was. All the fog it had. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, um, you need in the next two minutes as a group, you need to write down what you think is required for fog based on the data you have, what you think re is required for fog. On the table somewhere. Hey, you tell your phone machine on. What do you think is required to fall? Oh, I'm correct. <laughs> no, there's wind. Wait. I just keep on It's like, it's never been on here Oh, that's not like I'm confused. I'm confused here. It's not really a specific topic. So I'm just going to put money yeah, I think on the other paper it's like PM. No, Huh? All right, who needs more time? All right, one more minute. Look like a koala bear when you that. Did you say something? I said, who needs more time? Oh, just wait. Let's just up there. Oh, you told us to put what we need for a bottle. Uh, Thank you, man. Are you having a good day? Human? Hey, I don't think this is going to be always good. Yeah. 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 All right, let's do this. Hey, let's stop. We're going to take a three minute walk around the room, loosen up, break, and we're going to get back to work. And I mean back to work, okay? Three minutes, stand up, walk around. We're not doing bathrooms, except for one at a time. How much more time do uh, someone join that one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, he all right, two minutes. Y'all need to keep your hands to your feet to yourself. Oh, okay. okay. I think you slap my head. I knew that. <laughs>
some ideas are that you think based on what the data you've seen that are required for fall okay so jason's got one go ahead uh heat heat what do you mean by heat i mean like humidity oh that's not heat so what do you mean humidity or heat humidity humidity okay so we got humidity and what do you mean by humidity I don't know what humidity was. <laughs> huh? Is it like where it's humid? It's like where the air is thick. Oh, yeah. That. Hold on, guys. Hey. So, Jason and McKinley are discussing humidity over here. They feel that, I got it. They feel that humidity is important for rain. Raise your hand if you agree. Based, based on the data. What? Oh, I'm disagreeing. It's okay. No. Why? Oh, you're voting. Let's try this again. Jason and McKinley are saying they feel that humidity is important for fog. Raise your hand based on the data if you agree. Okay. Now, Jason and McKinley are having trouble defining what they think humidity is. Who feels they can tell us what humidity means? Okay. I will say. I will say that they mentioned that humidity is when the air is thick, but beyond that, they don't know, or they, they said they don't know, yeah. The amount of moisture in the air? Okay, so he, uh, we're hearing the, the amount of moisture in the air. Any other ideas? They keep on playing with I know that show you comment on it. Yeah. All right, uh, Brady. I thought I was next. I got next. I'll bet your hand you. Hey, can I get a uh, You said you said time in the oh, I didn't say my name. 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 I didn't say
Bathroom. All right, back up here. So let's share other ideas for what we think is necessary. For, well, actually, we got to come back. Hey, this is science class. What are we missing with this humidity? Science. Oh. <laughs> okay, we need a number, right? Yeah. So what are you guys, what are you two saying? Oh, well, all of us saw there are 100% humidity. Okay, so who can agree with 100% humidity? Nope. Okay. Oh, okay, I only got two hands on 100% humidity. So what are you guys saying humidity should be? 90 to 100. 90 to 100? Who can agree with 90 to 100 humidity? Wait, I think humidity? 94. It needs to be somewhere between 97 and 100. All right, so let's... There's no fall. All right. Hey. I got a lot of non-participants in here. Your job is to convince me that you're in this. While you're here, Mason, your job is to convince me that you are involved in thinking. Okay? Don't leave yet. Whoever's next in line, don't leave yet. So, you don't want homework. You want to prove to me that you're thinking now. Okay? This isn't let my friends do it <coughs> kind of a class. This is you've got to show me your thinking. That's how I know that you're involved. If I, if I can't tell your thinking, then that's going to be a problem. Okay? So a way to remedy this for me right now is I'm going to say, okay, each group together determine what the humidity needs to be for fog. I'll give you 30 seconds. Look at your data right now. Look at your data right now. What does the committee need to be for that to be fog? Do you all agree? You guys need to agree. Look at the data. So, so if you're seeing 100, then that means every time there's fog in all your data, it's 100. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. All right, now, okay, don't answer yet, don't answer yet, heads up here, heads and eyes up here. So, in order to decide, put your hands down, just listen, I'm going to get your answers in a second. In order to decide for your group, that means you should have looked at every time there's fog and looked at what the community is, right? That's what you did. Kyle, that's what you did? What did you get, Kyle? It has to be 93 to 100. So from your experience, from your data, 93 to 100. Okay, Cadence? Just 100. Just 100, okay. 92 to 100 here. 96 to 100. 96 to 100. 97 to 100. Okay, so did you all hear that? Yes. In every situation, it was 90 to 100. Now, do you have to agree with the other groups? No. No, because you might have had their data if I had switched it, right? So can we agree as a class, 90 to 100? Yes. Yes. I need, I need to know for real. Yes. yes. No, that's what we're doing. Okay. Absolutely sure. Yeah, you guys agree? Because I didn't hear you guys answer. I agree. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're saying 90 to 100. What else needs to happen for fog? Uh, let's go with that. Uh, the, temperature, the temperature needs to be between 40 or uh, 50. Okay, so your, your experience says temp between 40 and and 50 degrees, correct? That's an inaccurate Well, hold on, hold on. You guys, hey, who heard what Cassandra, or not Cassandra, I'm sorry, who heard what Katie just said? They both start with a sound. Inaccurate statement. Calm down, they both start with a sound. My bad. Bucket nugget, whistle face. No, I wasn't looking at anybody when I said it. Calm down. Uh, All right. Hello. No, that doesn't require response. Yeah. Good. All right. So Cadence does not agree with the temperature that Zach gave. But hold on, Cadence. Where did Zach get that information? From his. From his data set, right? But which my so from so then this is how we would deal with that. Okay. Our data set was different than Zach's. I can understand why he said what he said, but our data set, when we had fog, the temperature was? 
See how that's, see how that's different? Okay. So, hey, so when, I, when you guys have different data, you need to kind of relate it to what they shared. All right, because it may be different, but it doesn't mean theirs is wrong and yours is right. So Zach, Zach had 50, 40 to 50. I'm sorry, Case, what did you say yours was? 62 and 65. Okay, so you had 62 to 65. And what else was there? Colton? Uh, 30 to like 32. 30 to 32? Where are you living? 30 to 32. All right, McKinley? Uh, 64 to 66. No. 64 to 66. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's see this. This is good. Okay, Kyle doesn't believe it. Light freezing fall. That's the fall. Well, it, it doesn't matter. It's it's fog. It could be freezing, which is what most of us are used to. Okay, any other? Yeah, I haven't heard from Braden's group. I haven't heard from Isaac's group. What do you guys see for temperature? I'm sorry. Who is next? Grace. Uh, Grayson. <laughs> Can you see, I mean, Gracie, sorry. 55 to 57. Uh, let's send Myra to Myra. You go ahead and go as well. 55 to 57. Are you guys at 55 to 57? Oh, you're left-handed? Yeah. Uh, Cat's group, did you guys share? Okay, what's yours? 60 to 62. 60 to 62. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, go ahead. 33 to 37. Okay. All right. Hold on a sec, guys. This is interesting. That's a that's talk to your group. What does this mean? Does this means something. No, 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 no. So, talk to your group. Have a discussion with the people you're with. Look, what does this mean? Wait a second. How is your phone line? I can't hear you. I feel like I'm going to be right. That is a big difference, isn't it? Yeah, that's weird. Because these are kind of low temperatures, right? Yeah. And it's also a wide range. That's a pretty big spread. 32 all the way to 60 something. Oh, that's weak. Then that reached like, what did you say? Like a hundred degrees? No. I we talked about temperature. I think we were going to take it, but then, like, somebody it was too hard. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Somebody's finger got burned by touching it. I'll tell you that. Because Mason tried to stick his hand for another. We're going to take the temperature. All right, back up here. But it's worth about heat. Who has an idea to share about these temperatures? Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Let's stop. I can't hear you. That makes too noisy. So. Okay. But what? What about temperature, though? What? I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, uh, Kate. Um, it's all in like a range together. It's a big range, right? Like, it's only like 20. Oh my gosh, people, I cannot hear! You're supposed to listen to whoever I give appointment to. Why is this difficult? Now, if you're not talking, I'm not yelling at you. If you are talking, I'm yelling at you. I don't know who is talking, but this is outrageous. This is not how freshmen behave. You guys are acting like eighth graders. You're better than this. <clears throat> if you really want to sit and do work work, we can do that. It'd be so much easier for me. I can sit over here. I can play games on my computer. I can put in grades. Go ahead, Con. Science is about learning as a group, not the teacher telling you stuff. Science is about people getting a chance to share ideas to help progress your understanding. It's not about the teacher lecturing. It's not about doing book work. But if that's what it has to be, so I don't lose my mind, then that's what I'm going to do. Please. 
I'm begging you, don't make me do that. Don't understand. Show me, okay? I love you guys. I don't want to do that stuff. I want us to work. I want us to build understanding. I want us to be a class that can collaborate. I want you guys to walk out of this class at the end of the day because and become a better person for being here and be better friends with the people next to you, whether you get along with them or not. Because you're able to discuss and share ideas and build each other. Okay? It may seem like a lot to ask for to be better friends with people in the classroom, be a better person just for being here for an hour and a half or 50 minutes or whatever. But I really want that for you. I don't care if you like science. This isn't about science in here. This is about figuring things out. When you figure things out, you'll get that job. You'll get that girl, that boy, whatever it is you're after. You'll get that later curfew because you've proven to your parents you can handle it. Okay? Whatever it is you want in life, if you can learn how to figure it out and how to give evidence for your arguments, you can have whatever you want. It's about getting to a better place. It's not about the science, okay? I love science. It's my passion for sure. But my bigger passion is helping you guys learn and grow, not just learn information, okay? Thanks, thanks, Jacob. Okay, so, so, I'm, you know, I, I've got a solution to this, a, a nice solution. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna write ball on my hand. Don't get it too excited. There's no S. Okay. I know how it goes. Okay. Makes no sense. Don't worry about it. They're referring to the first day. You know that. Right? Never mind. So I'm going to get a talking ball. It's not really going to talk, but whoever has the ball is the only one that has the right to talk. Okay. So when I pass it to somebody, they have that right, and they get to choose who's next. <coughs> Can you guys honor the talking ball if I get one? Yeah. You want to try it at least? Okay, I need some buy-in people. I got like three people saying, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. 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 It doesn't have to be loud. I just need more people. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's try this again. Oh, Can we try it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Say yes. Okay. Yes, sir. That's a little better. Like I said, I don't need volume. I need fitness. All right. Okay. Who am I giving permission to talk? Who should be talking? Yes. Who should be listening? Yes. Us. <laughs> How do I know you're listening? What should I see? Eyes on her. Eyes on her. Turn your body. Okay. Let's honor each other. Now, obviously, in this position, it may be difficult, but you can at least make an effort to turn your body in the direction, even if you can't face her directly. Okay. What were we going to say? I don't remember the question. Uh, I said that it was like in the same range. All of the numbers are between 30 and 70. Okay, so that, that's one observation. Numbers are between 30 and 70. Who has another observation about this, these numbers? Kyle? All possible temperatures of falling. Say that again? All possible temperatures of falling. Okay, so these are all the possible temperatures. What do you mean by that exactly? Like fog can happen at those temperatures. Okay, is that a big range? Huh? Is that a big range? Yeah. That's a pretty big range. 40 degrees. Okay. That's 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 a pretty big range. Who else? Any observations about this? Kyle again? Um, that the uh, temperatures are like mostly like colder. They're like colder temperatures. Okay, they're on the cooler end. Yeah. Okay. Is this the temperature you keep your house at? No. Yes. No. You wish. Sixty degrees? I keep mine at sixty. You bring me a picture proving that, and I'll believe you. You keep your ass at 60 degrees, but it's like icebergs. My mom does walking in. All right, all right. Back up here. All right, Case. Uh, okay, so I think that, okay, so it says considering. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so it says considering the temperature of the water and the temperature of the water. Yeah, I think so. So, how is that humidity between 90 and 100? But the temperatures are so low, low, it has to be confined again. So that's why the temperatures are so low because the humidity is so high. Maybe that might have something to do with it. Okay, who else has an idea to add to what is necessary for fog, based on the data that they had? Oh man. I do know that makes sense. Well, yeah, mine kind of. There's no rain or nothing. Okay, so you're not, you don't think rain has anything to do with it, okay? All right, so. I don't think you have to go to a 
Well, so we've only shared two things. It, is there more? Maybe there's not. Yes. Okay, McKinley? Maybe the time of day because uh, our paper is in the morning. Oh, yes. who else had morning? Raise your hand. Okay, let's go ahead and put that up here then. Yeah, it was like really early. It was like four. Yeah. yeah. But my, ours was scattered at the morning, so I couldn't put it at okay. the exact time. Uh, so let's work backwards. Who had, look at your times real quick. Times of the morning. Who had earlier, or who had later than 8 o'clock? Anybody have later than 8? Okay, who had later than 9? <coughs> Around 9.30? Okay, so what was the earliest or latest you had, Abby? The latest I had was 11.52 p.m. 11.52, wow, that is late. Okay, so, yeah. I had 11.53 p.m. Okay, so we had two. Hey, what was your city? Whoa. Dodge City. Campus. Dodge City? Gage, what was your city? My city, uh, Bangor, I think. Is that what it says? Is that Maine or? I don't know. It just says Ours Bangor. Ours is Portland, Oregon. What? Hold on. What's the acronym? What's the uh, two, two letters after Bangor? M-E. M-E. Yeah, that's Maine. Okay. Maine. So, we got Maine and yours was Dodge City, Kansas, right? Okay, that's, so that's pretty late for fog. That's impressive. 11.04. Okay, now going the other way. Okay, I guess we're going to stop here. I need you to Good afternoon, Cougar Nation. May I please have your attention for a few announcements? The host of Picnic... Bring me your data! And back up on your wings and stop at your binder. The Picnic is on the ice range 30. Tailgate shirts have arrived. If you order a tailgate shirt and haven't already received it, please pick it up this afternoon at the Anything you wrote on the front office, the data sheets. Power Puff Games will be at Creekwood tonight. Kickball will resume at 6 o'clock with DCHS Junior and Seniors versus Creekwood Juniors and Seniors. Powder Puff is immediately following people. Hey, get your phones, go back to your seats. For both events, it's $2. What a deal. Make sure you go out and support our teachers. They request you bring a chair. Their bleachers have been moved to the game tomorrow. Underclassmen, tomorrow is your picture day. Make sure you dress appropriate. Thank you for your attention. Have a great afternoon and be safe. Huh.